If you wanted to scrutinize your artwork in more detail, then you're better off using a navigational tool. They are located in the tools panel on the far left hand side of the interface. And the way that all of these tools work is that you have to hover over the appropriate tool here at the bottom, the magnifying glass is the symbol for the zoom tool. And then we get a what's called a, a rich tool tip. If I left click on that tool, it will make it active and appear as a button that's been pressed down. And from here, you'll notice that my cursor has now changed into a magnifying glass with a plus inside, suggesting that if I was to left click with the mouse, I would zoom into this image. My suggestion would be hover over the thing that you want to zoom into in particular. So if I hover over one of the rocks on the horizon and left click, it will zoom in. And now I'm at 200%. If I zoom in again, notice that it's taking me to roughly that part of the image every time I click with the mouse. There is a maximum zoom level. So if you keep clicking with the mouse, you'll eventually find that the magnifying glass of your zoom tool icon for your cursor becomes empty. And this is now at a zoom level of 12,800%. So you could go up to the options bar across the top. This will allow you to modify the behavior of the tool that's active. So actually the tools panel and the options bar across the top work with one another. If I wish to change the mode from zoom in to zoom out, click on that. And notice now that I have a minus inside of my zoom tool and I can left click and just keep zooming out but it won't allow me to zoom in. I'd have to go back and click on the zoom in mode. My suggestion again would be that leave it set to the default mode of zoom in, zoom into the item that you wish when you wish to zoom out. If you hold down the alt key on a PC or the option key on a Mac, you'll find that we now have a minus appearing inside of our magnifying cursor. Keep that key held down and left click with the mouse and you can zoom out. Once you've finished zooming out, release your finger off the keyboard and it reinstates the default mode of the zoom tool where you can again, just left click and zoom in again. Also notice that in the options bar, you can choose to fit screen like so. So all of the image is visible. If you wish to use all of the image window, then you can choose fill screen. And that will make sure that no portion of the background of the image window has any gray portions. It, it uses all of your image to fill that region but just be aware that some of your image content may be hidden off the edges of your image window. And you can also go back to a hundred percent as well. If you prefer to zoom in much more quickly, then you can hover your cursor over a region in the image and click and hold down the left mouse button and immediately drag the left mouse button left or right to zoom in or zoom out. In my case here, hovering over the horizon, if I click and hold down the mouse and drag towards the right hand side, I can zoom in very quickly. I haven't taken my finger off the left mouse button. I can still choose to drag towards the left hand side and that will allow me to zoom out. So it gives you a lot of options over how quickly you can zoom in and zoom out on your image. Once you let go of the left mouse button, you'll still have the zoom tool active. That's called scrubby zoom. And it's shown at the top up here with a checkbox for scrubby zoom. Anything inside of the Adobe applications where you click and hold down the left mouse button and drag across is called a scrubby technique. Hence the name. Now, if you turn off the checkbox for scrubby zoom, you can use what's called marquee zoom. So if I just choose to fit this image on screen and then hover my cursor just to the upper left hand side of what I wish to zoom into again, click and hold down the mouse and then immediately drag. You'll notice that this time the magnification won't change, but I can draw a region on screen inside what's called a marquee area. And then when I let go of the mouse, that area shown in the marquee will fill the image window. And the reason why we have those two modes is, well, they use the same mouse gestures. So we either have to choose to scrubby zoom or marquee zoom. Choice is yours. The end result is pretty much exactly the same. I'm going to turn back on scrubby zoom and choose fit screen. So if you wish to navigate around your image by changing the magnification, the zoom tool is the most efficient way to achieve this.